In this video, we're going to find the domain of a composite function. And it says, given the functions below, find the domain of f of g of x. And they give you two functions. They give you a rational function, f of x, and a radical function, or a square root function, for g of x. The way I like to start these problems is I like to find the domain of f of x and g of x individually. So we're going to say domain of f of x here. And then we're going to say domain of g of x here. Domain of f of x, well, that's a rational function. Because it's rational, you can't divide by 0. So we're going to say 13x minus 26 cannot equal 0. Then we're going to solve this. We'll find the x value that doesn't work. So that's plus 26. So 13x cannot equal 26. Divide by 13. x cannot equal 2. So the domain would be all reals except x cannot equal 2. That's the domain of f of x. Let's find the domain of g of x. We would say that we can't take the square root of a negative. So we need to make sure that 2x plus 24 is greater than or equal to 0. So basically what we're doing is we're finding the x value, the lowest x value that will work for this, equa for this uh, g function. We're going to do that by subtracting 24 on each side. We get 2x greater than or equal to negative 24. And then we're going to divide by 2. And we're going to get x greater than or equal to negative 12. So the lowest value that you can have for this g function is negative 12. So you could say that negative 12 to infinity, bracket on the negative 12, that's the domain of g of x. Now what are they asking for in the problem? They're saying take g of x, plug it into f. So they want to know what's the domain of f of g of x. So to find that, we're going to, let's go ahead and plug that, plug that uh, root 2x plus 24 into the f function. So we're going to say f of g of x is equal to f with an input of root 2x plus 24, which is equal to I'm going to plug that in for the x value in f. That would be 1 over 13. And then I would have root 2x plus 24. Minus 26. So we have a couple things going here. First of all, for the domain of f of g of x, our domain has to at least be, because of this square root function, at least be greater than or equal to negative 12. So we know that this piece is going to play a part in our domain value. But we also know that I'm plugging into this f function, and the f cannot be divided by 0. So when I originally found this x cannot equal 2, that was for just a regular x there. But now I put in root 2x plus 24 in replace of x. So that means that root. 2x plus 24 cannot equal 2. Slide up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do to figure this out is I'm going to square each side. So if I square each side, that would give me 2x plus 24 cannot equal 4. I'm going to subtract 24. So 2x cannot equal negative 20. And then divide by 2. x cannot equal negative 10. So what I figured out here is that I cannot have negative 10 as a solution because if I plug negative 10 in to this equation, that would give you negative 20 plus 24 
which would be uh, 4. Root of 4 is 2. You'd end up getting 0 down here because 13 times 2 is 26. 26 minus 26. You get a division of 0 down here. So this is one of the domain restrictions. So this is my overall domain restriction with this not being able to be a solution. So what I need to say for the domain, so I'm going to kind of box this off. I'm going to say domain is x greater than or equal to negative 12, except x cannot equal negative 10. And that would be the domain of the function, f of g of x.